Hi, this is Richard Bradley driving the number 28 IDEX Sport LMP2 and you can join me for a lap of Le Castellet. As we approach the first corner, getting ready for the very bumpy braking zone, braking at about 75 metres down to third gear, holding the car to the left for the very, very quick turn two, let the car run out, and then we're approaching the turn three with a mega quick entry where you have to really attack the kerb on the inside. Down to third gear, braking hard, turning quick, onto the kerb in turn four, and then holding the car over as much as possible for the really tight turn five. Traction out of here is always really poor, but then you have to get ready for turn six, which is ultra critical as the car always wants to understeer, and the earlier you can get on power, the quicker you can get onto the long two kilometer Mistral straight. A very long straight, you have lots of time in the car, as you can see, I'm able to get the sweat out of my eyes and it's very hot in the car here in Le Castellet, the south of France in August, but then you have time to look at your dash, make sure that everything's okay with your temps, all the settings that you need to correct. You can see there I'm flashing the P3 car who's ahead of me. Then you approach scene corner, one of the fastest corners that we go to, apexing at about 300 kilometers an hour, and then coming out using a bit of curb on the exit, attacking the car into Le Bose, letting the car slow down naturally, letting it run, then I get bulked a little bit here by the P3, causes a little bit of understeer. And then we come up to this next left-hander where we have to go slow on the entry to avoid locking the left front. It's very hard to see the inside of this corner, letting it run onto the curb onto the exit. And then now we come into the last complex, deceptively quick. You're able to carry a load of speed into the left-hander, holding it as long as you can to get to the inside and then not breaking too late to avoid locking up for the last corner. And then you get on the power as quick as you can. And that's a thrilling lap of Le Castellet and uh, feeling very hot and sweaty, that's for sure.